field of six behind the gate for race six. Desir Dorleon, Hardy Mill Joe, E.R. Quinn, Preceptor, Electra Express, and uh, Chick McGuire. They're off as they leave the gate. Desir Dorleon in at the rail. He's out looking to grab the early lead against E.R. Quinn on the inside and uh, taking a tuck. Hardy Mill Joe in at three. Outside a fourth, that is Preceptor. Unhurried back there in five. That is the Electra Express and the early trailer in six. That's Chick McGuire. On through the backstretch for the first time, and E.R. Quinn sets up shop in the front end, quickly opening up by three with Desert Dorleon racing a second at the rail. Followed a third by Hardy Mill Joe. Next in line from four, that's Preceptor. Back in a five, Electra Express has only beaten one away. That's Chick McGuire as they continue out of the 3-8, 28 and a fifth. Was the initial quarter. E. R. Quinn out there clear by three as they round the top turn and enter the stretch for the first time. Desir Dorleon endeavors to close that gap second. Then uh, racing along the rail in uh, three. That's Hardy Mill Joe, followed by Preceptor fourth. Starting up on the outside now from five. Here comes the Electra Express and a back trailing in a six. That's Chick McGuire. They dip into the turn, heading to the backstretch now for the final time. 28 and a fifth was the quarter. The half in a snappy 57 and 2. E.R. Quinn still the boss. Second out the rail, Desert Orleon. Working first over, that's Hardy Mill Joe. And Hardy Mill Joe will tow Electric Express up into contention now. Fourth, inside and pacing five, that's Preceptor. And still trailing in six, Chick McGuire. They arrive at three quarters. Hardy Mill Joe on the outside is now forging to the top. E.R. Quinn is back second outside. Side, losing his cover third. Electra Express inside and pacing in four. That is Desir Dorleon. They head past the seven eights now. One twenty six and three. Three quarters. Hardy Mill Joe on the outside has the lead. On the inside, E.R. Quinn second. Then Electra Express is pacing third inside. Fourth is Desir Dorleon. On through the lane they come. It's Hardy Mill Joe and Hardy Mill Joe will take the sixth. Second best is E.R. Quinn and third. That is Electra Express. Mile in 156 and 150. So both uh, Hardy Mill Joe and E.R. Quinn bringing their A game and a nice battle that uh, brewed uh, just around the half mile and uh, took place uh, throughout the final half there between Hardy Mill Joe. Worked hard to uh, grab control here, turning for home. Uh, getting the best of E.R. Quinn on for third, number five, Electra Express, two, three, and a five. Here it's the top three unofficial. Uh, E.R. Quinn very sharp in the early going here, 28 and one, 57 and two. Uh, good over to three quarters and 126 and three, and they still had enough to come home in 29 and change. It was Hardy Mill Joe on top to win in 156 and one. It's another new lifetime best tonight at Churro Raceway. As mentioned, track condition, it's been upgraded to lightning fast. Uh, it is very quick tonight in Churro. Hardy Mill Joe, uh, life best, 156 and 1. E.R. Quinn, we mentioned Corey McPherson, knew that horse well. He knew what to do to get the best of him. And uh, he showed up tonight, just missing in a quick time. Again, it's 2, 3, and 5, top 3, unofficial. That wasn't so hard, was it? Back in victory lane, the sixth race winner, number two, Hardy Mill Joe, four-year-old Brown, son of sports writer, 
Over the Hardy Mill stable of Beaverback and Ken Hardy of Bedford. Trained by Anthony Stimus, driven by Andy Campbell. Andy gives Hardy Mill Joe a career mark of 156 and 150. 